Let's take a look at how the CPU, RAM and GPU specs have evolved for Sony PlayStation consoles over time. The original PlayStation was released by Sony in 1994. The CPU had a single core with a clock speed of 33.8 MHz. There are only 2 MB of RAM and a custom graphics processing unit that's hard to get information on and by modern standards it would not have been very powerful and needed the CPU's help to process graphics. That's why PS1 Hagrid has become a meme. Six years later in 2000 the PlayStation 2 is released, eventually becoming the best selling console of all time. And now the controllers have sticks on them rather than just the D-pad buttons when the first one was released. The CPU is over 8 times faster at 295 MHz. RAM capacity is 16 times bigger at 32 MB, and it contained a graphics synthesizer, which was a dedicated separate processor for graphics rendering with a clock speed of 147 MHz. Another 6 years go by and the PlayStation 3 is released in 2006. The 60GB storage model of the PlayStation 3 was Sony's most expensive console ever until the PlayStation 5 Pro. It was released for $600, which is not far from $1000 today when adjusted for inflation. The PlayStation 3 CPU is about 10 times faster than the PS2, being 3.2 GHz. The RAM size is 8 times larger at 256 MB and the GPU's clock speed is more than triple to 530 MHz. The PlayStation 4 was released in 2013 and Sony learned their lesson by lowering the price, making it $100 cheaper than the Xbox One which was released just a week apart. The PS4 had 8 cores, each with a clock speed of 1.6 GHz, so it was many times faster now than the PS3. RAM is 8 GB compared to 256 MB and the GPU's clock speed has increased from 530 to 800 MHz. The PS5 is bulky, officially being the largest home video game console of all time. It was released in 2020, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic and computer chip shortages, Sony only officially announced supply lines were fully resolved three years later in 2023. The PS5 is a big improvement on the PS4 in every way, with 8 more than twice as fast 3.5GHz cores, double as much RAM at 16GB and a much more powerful GPU with a clock speed measured in GHz for the first time. What will the PlayStation 6 look like? Historically it will be 2027 at the earliest before it's released, but with the PlayStation 5's rocky start, Sony will want to make sure they've got enough in supply before they sell it. Give this video a like if you want to see the hardware evolution of Xbox or Nintendo consoles next.